So this is my first video for Sugar Ray Crafts. And I, I'm starting this channel to kind of document my crafts that I've done and also to um, keep track of the progress that I've made. Um, so I mainly like to work with recycled materials. I really don't buy a whole lot of um, a whole lot of new things from the craft store. I'll usually buy stuff from Craigslist. Um, or I also shop a lot at Bargain World, which is like the Goodwill, only cheaper. Um, so I thought I would show um, some crafts that I've done. And if you want tutorials on anything, just ask. Um, as long as it didn't take like days for me to make, then I'd be happy to do a tutorial on it. So, first thing I have, and I do a lot of the same stuff, but with in different styles, I guess you could say. These are reindeer ornaments. A couple different shaped heads, some with googly eyes. I really loved doing these ornaments because um, <laughs> the bells. I love bells. So there's that. And then here's one that I did with um, natural twigs. The Michaels around me don't um, have a good selection of Lara's Woodcrafts. Um, and they're extremely overpriced so for now I'm using twigs and I have these in ornament form and I also have them in magnets because I love magnets so next thing Here's a couple snowmen. Um, I love painting these. I got like over $500 worth of um, like woodcraft stuff um, off Craigslist for like $15. So, um, some with buttons, some with wood pegs. I love to paint, although I'm not very good at it. I still try to be. This was the very first craft I did as an adult. Um, kind of looks like crap, but oh well. Here's a snowflake. So after I had put glued, glued the glitter on, I realized that um, the one that had a purple sheen to it also had a yellow sheen to it. So once it was already too late, I realized that there's yellow sheen on the lines here on the glitter. And it looks like it's nicotine stained. So I guess you live and learn. Um, still looks pretty though, I think. This one was just a little boy's Christmas list. I didn't make it long enough. It was the first one I did. It's supposed to go like, like that. So here's a few different styles of magnet snowmen. I have a thing for snowmen. I've got a whole, I've probably got like 30 more snowman <laughs> magnets that I did. I just went a little bit snowman crazy for a while, so um, different styles. A lot of this, none of this stuff I really bought. It's, like I said, I, I buy large craft lots off of Craigslist and um, grab bags from Bargain World. Um, so I really, it's comes to pennies on a dollar for how much I actually spend on most of my things. 
I'm still working on doing the faces. I haven't quite mastered how to do the blush yet. I can't, um, I've tried several different things like Q-tips and natural sponges. I can't get it to look right. And I'm still working on doing the eyes too. But it'll get better with time. Here's a sparkly star ornament with a tree in it. I love the sparkles. My house is really sparkly. It's not uncommon for the dogs to be covered in sparkles. So here's some pins. Some different styles of pins. And all this all the fabric that's used on these guys, except for the ones that I use felt on, is recycled fabric scraps. My mom used to be a big sewer and she kept everything, thankfully. <laughs> this one's wearing a Santa hat. Which is felt and ribbon trim, whatever you want to call it. This was this turns out to be one of my favorite ornaments that I've done. The brand is Little Whittles, and it's just a apple core hanging underneath an apple. I thought it was cute. Here's a little snowman spool ornament. This is one of the smallest, his hat is the smallest spool that they make, and then his body is the next size up. And then this this is um it's supposed to be a candle holder. I haven't glued this down yet because I'm not sure if I want to um add anything to it. But this is basically what it will look like, just a spool snowman on a base, and then this will eventually get glued down. And then the plaque, the plaque to that I actually found at a um, garage sale, so not really cheap. And then this is a, my first light bulb craft. I didn't even realize people were already recycling light bulbs for crafts. I hadn't watched any YouTube videos and then after I made this um, I was like oh my goodness other people have already come up with the idea so it's kind of cool and then it was a little bit of a buzz kill because I am not um, a great mastermind at thinking of new crafts and to find out it was already created kind of sucked but that's okay so this is just a gingerbread man it's my first bulb craft I think he turned out pretty good took a lot of paint probably do a tutorial on this just because it's a good way to keep um, burnout light bulbs out of the landfill so that's all I've got to show right now like I said if you want any tutorials just let me know I'd be happy to do them thank you for watching